Hi, it's Rachel Maldonado. I am a therapist and life coach, and I am with Trenton Schwarzer, a first responder. And you have a great deal of experience with sexual assault. Can you tell me about this? Sure, we've responded to many cases over the years, and um, it's, you know, it's really important that people pay attention to what's going on around them and to realize that an assault can happen to anyone, anytime. Um, one recent case was a young lady who went and met a guy in town a couple of times at a club, mm -hmm. and they had a mutual attraction, and she's like, okay, this is good, and she um, ended up getting a phone call from him one, one day, and he says, you know, come and pick me up and let's, let's do something together. So she went and picked him up, took him to her place, and then he raped her. And it's what she didn't realize is that he had a history. He had a pretty good documented history of assault already. And if she had taken the time to Google him, she would have easily, easily found out that he was on a, on a sexual assault offenders list. And so being sure that you try and check some people out before you just go spend time with them and take them home or whatever. Um, if it's somebody new, spend time with them in public, in a public setting rather than uh, in a private setting initially. Be aware of the fact that somebody can spike uh, some drugs into your drinks, of course. Everybody should be aware that that can happen. So don't leave a drink sitting out alone and um, turn your back, go to the restroom, and then come back and not realize that somebody's put, put a roofie in your, in your drink or whatever. So, you know, just be really safe and aware of your surroundings and cognizant of the fact that somebody, they, these guys are oftentimes very manipulative, very suave, and you, you want to pay attention these details listen to your instincts if it doesn't feel right to you don't don't get involved back off or or just stay somewhere in public mm, mm. i really like your recommendations and i would add that of course in a case of sexual assault in addition to the first responders and the police make sure you always tell someone family friends Hopefully you go to therapy to process a trauma, but get the help that you need. And I thank you so much for these wonderful recommendations. You bet.